Hello, hello. I'm illuminated by my greenhouse light. Intense. I've eaten too much cabbage, so I have a little bit of indigestion. But oh well. I really want to get started with planting all my plants. But I'm not really sure what I'm doing because I've never really done this before. I've got my little um, setup here. I've got all of the stuff that I've uh, bought for planting and things. So I've got all of these plant pots and I've got this little mini uh, house here. I've got some sort of special soil, some planting soil, more little things, plant pots. Um, and then I've got all my seeds and my compost. I filled up my first compost tank. I filled it up to the brim. And now I'm going to leave that for a couple of weeks and then it can be used. But I don't think I'll manage to use it in time for planting all of these seeds. But I'm going to use it in the future for planting stuff at, at the garden that we have at our house. So definitely going to be using that in the future. I did spend a whole afternoon where I uh, picked up loads of loads and loads and loads of leaves that were just all over the garden. And I put them into big plastic bags. So they're going to turn into nice compost and then I'm going to mix it with my uh, kitchen compost. So it's going to be super duper compost. Whatever. Yeah, so I'm going to get started on planting. <laughs> Wish me luck. So now we've got all of our seeds in, we've done all of our planting, it seems like a success. And I've made lots of notes about all the different species that we planted today. So um, yeah, we had lots of information about what the best kind of soil would be for them. And so now everything's planted and this is how it looks. So we've got one, two, three, four, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different species, and those are all of the South African species. We've got a few succulents and a few cactus like strange things. These were just some little plants from uh, the plant shop, and then in here, I've got from my mum, I got an orchid bulb. A windowsill orchid so I'm growing this little orchid I was really desperate to find out if it was going well so I dug it up the other day just to check what was going on and I think that the bulb is alive so we're keeping our fingers crossed with that one then in my little module tray here I've got two different types of tomatoes and two different types of chili so I'm really excited about that I've never grown tomato or chili so I keep my fingers thoroughly crossed for that and I'm so excited for these seeds as well. I can't wait for them to germinate and start popping up. I've got lots of different types of um, mixes of uh, potting mix. And then those that require a little bit more drainage. So I've added a lot of perlite. Um, and there's a lot of different ratios of that perlite. For, for, because there was lots of different um, requirements. Some wanted lots of perlite. Some wanted a little bit less pellet. That's the way the cookie crumbles, you know? So, yep. Next update. <laughs> Look at this growing light, it's so intense. So next update will be when everything starts popping up. <laughs> 